There are tax consequences of adding your child to the title of your house. Let's see a quick example. Dad is 80 years old and owns a house that has market value of $800,000. He bought this house 25 years ago for $300,000. Dad wants to leave his house to his son when he passes away. So he added his son on the title as a joint owner with survivorship this year. In this case, the dad made a gift of $400,000 to his son with a 50% of the house market value. The dad needs to file a gift tax form 709 to IRS. For most people you don't need to worry about the gift tax because you get lifetime exemption amount of in. The tax you need to worry about is the capital gain tax in this case with a large capital gain. Let's say the dad dies next year. The house will pass to the son directly without probate. However, if the son decides to sell the house after dad passed away, the son has to pay capital gain tax on his half of ownership to $150,000. The capital gain taxes can be as high as $75,000 depending on the son's income level and the state you live in. The son gets step up on basis on his dad's half ownership, paying no capital gain tax on his dad's half. If the dad leaves his house to his son using a transfer on death deed or living will, his son would get a full step up on basis, paying no capital gain taxes. Add a family member to your house title can be used in a situation that there's little capital gain on the house. Of course there are other aspects to consider besides taxes. You lost control of portion of your house. Your family member's creditors can take your house away. If there's a mortgage on the house, the lender may not allow you to add another person to the title. Make the decision based on your own situation.